Hi, I'm Tatiana Dichenka and this video is about the six symptom of narcissistic personality disorder or six criteria according to DSM-5. And this criteria is interpersonal exploitation. Narcissists are taking advantage of others to get what they want. They are always looking for benefits, what they can get from you and you are just a resource for them. Or another term, narcissistic supply. And you can be a financial resource, emotional resource, a sexual resource, intellectual, anything. Uh, they cannot uh, love people for who they are, spend time, enjoy company. They want to use them. And to do so, they manipulate. They are skillful manipulators. And you need to know the indicator of manipulation to prevent this, not to be used and exploited. Subscribe to my channel, press the button below this video and the bell, and you will get notifications about my new videos. Narcissists using different types of manipulation depending on the stage of the relationship. At the beginning of the relationship, they use compliments, gift, just to catch you. And once you are on the hook, you in big trouble and about to become dinner. It means to be used. Late in the relationship, and they inflict uh, fear, guilt, resentment, shame uh, to use you. And to do this, they criticize you, diminish, uh, point your mistakes, to make you more compliant and to do what they want. Narcissists is also using uh, emotional blackmail, making you feel guilty. For example, your partner wants you to go to a party with him and you don't want to and you say no i don't want to go and he would say you can do me a little favor after everything i have done for you and you feel guilty and you go and it's a mistake don't go and he might not call you uh, an ungrateful bitch but you feel this and you do because you feel guilty. And when I was a student, I was a victim of narcissistic abuse. I had a roommate who shared um, an apartment and I did all work in the apartment. I cleaned, I washed dishes, I cooked, I bought food using my money for both of us. And uh, uh, I did everything because she was so busy and I was so convinced that she is so special and unique and I'm just a mediocre, simple girl. I should treat her like a princess and be happy that I have her in my life. Be proud. She chose me. So I didn't understand she was using me. And even more, she blamed me for being lazy, irresponsible, insensitive, uh, not showing empathy, and I was apologizing to her all the time. Her manipulation was so subtle, it's not like she was rude or yell at me or call me names, no. She even didn't ask me to do anything. I did everything myself. How did she do this? Sometimes it was a facial expression, like, oh, you're not good enough. Sometimes she told me a story, how other people treated her was helpful, empathetic, sensitive, um, and she was so unique and they did it all for her and it meant I should do the same. Uh, 
And at the same time, she pointed my shortcomings and my mistakes every time she thought I'm wrong, ridiculed me, laughed at me, and I felt so horrible. She was so perfect. I'm so imperfect. And after um, living with her for four months, I started to feel depressed. My self-esteem dropped really low. And in reality, it was opposite. She was insensitive. She was not empathetic. She didn't care about my needs, my feelings. It was only around her problems. And I woke up only after another friend of mine opened my eyes. She told me, your roommate is using you, don't you see? And I said, really? I thought I do it uh, from my heart. I didn't see this. I didn't realize. And after thinking and remembering all what she did to me, I realized it's true. My roommate was using me. Um, with the guilt manipulation, shame manipulation, and exploited me to get free service and free food. She didn't do anything. She didn't buy food. And she always criticized me. So, and after I wanted to break up, she used another manipulation. She quoted um, from a famous book, Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. She said, you become responsible forever for what you have tamed, created ties. You are responsible for your rose. And the rose is a character in this book and she compared herself with the rose which is fragile so delicate and i was a little prince and i supposed to take care of her forever i was young not educated in narcissism not experienced i believed in a good nature of people and um, i felt really down I was depressed and the consequences of living with a narcissist can be damaging it's constant guilt shame fear which can cause some psychological disorder and psychosomatic illnesses be aware if you feel guilty uh, and do what you didn't want to do. It can be an indicator you are being manipulated. Share your experience with someone else and get a second opinion on this situation. Different opinion. Write a story in the comment below this video. Don't believe that you are not good enough. If you feel down, uh, with a person, it's better to stay away from this relationship. Check other criteria of narcissism. If it is at least five criteria, it's a big chance to you are dealing with a narcissist. But it doesn't matter what diagnosis. Just take care of yourself. Remember, you are a good person and you don't have to be exploited, don't have to be a slave. You deserve a better life and better treatment. If you like this video, click like, write a comment. See you next time. It was Tatiana Dichenka.